Hey everyone, so this is a quick update on Brian Rose's London Mayor bid and a pretty astonishing story for the supposed free speech candidate. So a couple of weeks ago, these teenagers from the small Politics Relaxed podcast did an interview with Brian Rose. And given how terrible much of the coverage of Brian Rose has been since the beginning of the mayoral campaign, I'd say they did a pretty good job at showing up the mainstream media. I want to ask you, um, after doing a bit of research, when you said you wanted to be held accountable, so I'm going to do that. They asked him about where the money went from the digital freedom platform. He raised over £1 million. Uh, I have to ask, where did that money go? Did any of this go into your mayoral campaign? And finally, uh, I've seen accounts accuse you of breaking the Section 2 of 2006 Ford Act, which I just read out. Uh, do you think you've acted in accordance with these uh, regulations? So last year, we had a massive fight for freedom of speech. When you have a right to free speech as a human, something felt wrong that that was being banned. So I fought back against YouTube. So the interview was supposed to be half an hour long, but Brian cut it short after 15 minutes. So Howard's just giving me a shake here. So look, we can pick this up at another time, but I really, I really appreciate the time, guys, and we can pick this up next time we talk. All right, thank you very much. There we go. That is Brian Rose, the mayoral candidate who is avoiding scrutiny. I can, I've, I'm going to put up right now, I have the emails. This says 30 minutes. And then comes the fairly amazing part. When Felix and his friends uploaded it to YouTube, it was immediately hit by a copyright claim by London Real. Even though there's no copyright material in it, it was just their interview. And so what happened when you uploaded the video? So I tried to upload it on a Friday. Uh, I did actually. I did it on Thursday night to upload, and I was gonna. I had it unlisted, and I was gonna release it on Friday at about six. And then I got a notification saying London Real have claimed your video, which was like quite frustrating. I was like, oh, it might just be a mistake from YouTube. Maybe he's just saying something similar at one point, and they've found a match. So I tried to upload it again, the same video, um, and then I got another message saying London Real have claimed it. And there's no copyrighted material in the interview. We own all of it. It's just, it's all it is, is the interview and then a bit of us talking at the end about what we thought, because obviously he left after 15 minutes. Yeah, that was what happened when I tried to upload it. I've now sent an that Because that is a really key point. I mean, we had, Rebel Wisdom had one video that was copyright claimed by Brian Rose because we used a clip of him in it. Coffeezilla have had, um, has had, a few um, films copyright claim for the same reason. Copyright should not be used to suppress accountability. It should not be used to suppress um, topical discussions about stuff in the news, which is what's going on here. But you're saying that yeah. there were no clips. There was no London Real material in there at all. Yeah, it's this is like completely unjustified. How has he copyright claimed this? Uh, so what he's used content ID, so it's not a manual claim. It's what must have happened is there must he he recorded the Zoom meeting. What I think has happened, I can't say for hundred percent, but what I think has happened is he's uploaded this Zoom meeting. But I I was just looking at it before, and you have to tick a button if you want something to be like claiming stuff on content ID. There's like a button you have to click. So let's just let's just spell this out because this is really important because it shows premeditation. So you did the interview, you asked for the interview, it was your copyright. Yeah. But Brian asked to record it at his end as well, which you can do on Zoom if you give people, yeah. if you grant people permission. So he recorded it at his end. After the interview that you had done, he then took the recording that he had done of the interview, uploaded it to London Real, and deliberately clicked copyright ID so that when you uploaded your interview, it would be recognized by YouTube and blocked. Exactly. Um, and it's an unlisted video because I've looked through London Reels, like YouTube account, and there's no like videos of it. There's no nothing. And the way that YouTube works is that the appeal process lasts at least 30 days. So well after the mayoral elections taken place. And meanwhile, with a few days to go, Brian is continuing to censor any comments on his live streams, asking him to answer questions about his business practices. And more amusingly, now anyone asking why he's deleting comments also gets banned. So we've got a live event coming up with Nick Gabriel, the original co-host of London Real, which is happening tomorrow, and the details are below in the show notes. So hope to see you soon.